Hello little artists, I'm Mariana Olson and today we are drawing a hockey player. Are you ready? Let's do this! Ok, we're gonna need paper, something to color with, I'm using markers and something to draw with. I will use a black marker that you can change for a pencil. Today I have a very special guest, his name is... Simon, hello. Simon, and Simon how old are you? I am 10. 10, so Simon is here today. And we're gonna draw a hockey player. He's a hockey player and I'm really excited to do this with him. We're gonna start with the normal marker and we're gonna stand on the top of the paper and the first thing we're gonna do is a rectangle shape. So we're gonna do here a rectangle shape and my first line went a little curvy. Right there, this is the top part of the helmet. And now we're gonna do an upside down letter U in the center of this uh, rectangle. We're gonna do one more on the left and then one more on the right and this one is gonna go past a little bit this square shape or this rectangle shape with it just a little bit perfect now let's do a line that goes from here on the rectangle and cross a little bit this U shape there good job now we're gonna go from this corner and we're gonna try to catch up with the same uh, the same distance of this line and then we're gonna close here with a line now we're gonna do a small rectangle here so this rectangle is gonna go like this it's kind of like more like an L shape right and we're gonna do the ear so for the ear I'm gonna do a backwards letter C and now we're gonna close here if you don't have room, no, that's okay. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go around this way and we're going to do kind of like a upside down letter U. And now we're going to do his face. Okay. So from the corner of this rectangle, we're going to go down and a little diagonal for his chin or chin. Like that. Now we're going to do a curved line for his chin exactly and now we're gonna join this line here with the ear or we really close to the ear we're not gonna get quite up there just like this mm -hmm. we're gonna do a letter U that it connects around the ear mm -hmm. and if you have room we're gonna do a double and that's the part that holds the helmet around his ear Perfect. Yeah, good job. Okay, now let's do the nose and the nose is gonna look again kind of like a letter L, more curvy on the on more pointy. Good. Now for the eyes, we're gonna do two lines. So we are gonna do one line here. And I'm passing the marker twice just to make it look a little bit more or make it thicker. Uh-huh. And then we're gonna do a big eyebrow. So on the on the space that you have between the eyes and the helmet, we're gonna do an eyebrow. And this eyebrow even cross a little bit of the face, and we can color it with black. Now we're gonna do a smile. So let's do a long line. So this line is gonna start here with a little tiny curvy line. And then we're gonna go out almost to the other side. Now let's do a curve that goes down underneath the first curve we did. And now from this corner, we're gonna go to this point. So we're gonna join this with a curve. Good. Now let's mark the teeth. So we're gonna put two lines, one and one little one here too. And we're gonna do another line that cross in the middle, okay? So just like this. Okay, now let's mark one little line here for the bottom of his lip kind of thing. And we can put one line here on the middle just to mark his chin a little bit. The last details we're gonna do here, we're gonna kind of like mark his ear right here with a curve. And we're gonna mark some of the straps that comes from his helmet. So one is gonna come down and we're gonna do kind of like rectangle shape right here. And we're gonna color this with black. Uh-huh. And to the other side, we're gonna do the same thing, kind of like out, and then we do a rectangle shape right here. 
for the year, see the first thing I want to mark here, one line. And this line is going to connect with his face. Okay, now let's do a letter B and this one is gonna come from the chin and it's gonna go up really close to the letter B we did here or the neck we did here. Good, now let's cross here. If you still have room, if don't, that's okay. We are gonna do two curves for his shoulders. So the first one is gonna come from his face or from the corner of his face out and come back. Let's do the same in the other side. From this corner you have here, we're gonna go out and come back. Now let's do two more lines for the arms. So look at this line is gonna come down and come back. Mm -hmm. Now here down and come back. And we're gonna do two curved lines to start the gloves. So the first one goes here, is a line curve, and it's a big one. And the other one, see, we're gonna do it kinda like down a little bit. So it's gonna go like this. All right, so now we're gonna do two little curves in each side. So look, like curve, curve, and then curve, and curve. Good. Now let's do one more to join these two together. So we're going to join this and join this. Now inside this one, we're going to do kind of like a rectangle shape. And the ends of this rectangle shape are kind of like following the same shape you have here. So if you have this shape, you also do that and we close it. Okay, now for this glove, we're gonna do one big curve here, or not so big, but a little, you know, curve, and one straight. Okay, now for this one, we're gonna start with one straight, and one curve. Mm -hmm. Now, here he's gonna have like a he's gonna have like a thumbs up. So we're gonna do an upside down letter U. Or letter N. Or letter N, yep. Yeah. And behind this letter N, we're gonna do a line. And this is gonna go down three times. So we're gonna do one, two, and three. And it connects with the other side. Okay, now let's do two lines inside the gloves just to mark or give it some texture. So one, two, and the third one, we're gonna do it from this corner up and it's not gonna go all the way. We're just gonna leave it halfway. Okay, now let's do the other glove. So for the other glove, I'm gonna make from this corner a line that goes in and down. And now we're gonna mark these lines in this glove. I wanna do here a line that goes out and down and it connects here. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do one and two. Now let's do a little curve right here. From this, you're gonna go up a little. We're gonna draw the stick. So we're gonna do a line. Let's make that line double. And now we're gonna go to the left. We're gonna go down. And we're gonna come back just a little bit. Okay, so here in this one, we're gonna do the puck. And so we're gonna do an oval shape, a little up of the line. And then we're gonna do one, two lines. And we're gonna join those lines here. And then whatever space you have here, we're just gonna join these with the line. Perfect. So the hockey sticks has always like tape at the end, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna mark that tape, putting one, 
two, three, four. And at the end, just to make it look more like, like a tape, we're gonna put a cross line. This is a cartoon version of a hockey player. So usually hockey players are really big on the top and have teeny tiny mm. legs. So that's gonna work perfect for your picture. So underneath this glove, we're gonna do one square. And then we're gonna come down and try to do another one. And we're gonna do a line across, which is gonna be where the shorts end. And we're gonna put some uh, lines here on this jersey. So the first line we're gonna do is we're gonna put here one, one and two. And on the middle of his, uh, here on this V, we're gonna do this V double. So we're gonna start from here and going around. Okay, and now we can even mark his chest and his arms to make it look bigger. So let's put here one line. Let's put here one, and then here another one. And then here we're gonna go up and down. And it makes it, it, make it look more like muscles, kinda like very big guy. Perfect, now let's draw his legs. So for his legs, we're gonna start with two curved lines here underneath the shorts. And then teeny tiny legs, so two little lines. And we're gonna mark this the, the skates. So we're just gonna go a line across. And then we're gonna go with the letter B. And this letter B connects with the hockey stick right here. And just let's do one more here. Okay, if you have room, we're gonna do kind of like the same concept. Two little legs. This is the one that goes up. So let's start with the line. Now let's go kind of like letter B. One little line. And now let's go around. Around. Good. And we're gonna draw the skate. So the skate is gonna go down, right, up. And we're gonna draw this shape again inside. Perfect, so I think you have still room here to draw kind of like the, the other part of the skate. So you will go around that way. Exactly, that. and then just repeat the shape. And one more inside. There, you see, that's it, we finish. finished. What do you think, Simon, you did? I think your hockey player looks super cool. Hmm? His big arms. Big arms, <laughs> nice smile, you know. So now my favorite part is coming and that is Coloring. Coloring. Woo. Okay, let's color. Okay, little artist, we are done with our drawings. I think, Simon, you did awesome. Do you like your drawing? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I think you did super good. We actually add two things one of the things was the end of the stick because we decided to put uh, you know the last part and simon had the idea to add a little bit of tape other thing that we add was the part of the helmet we just forget to close this part and so you can see here how we close it it was not a big deal we just close this line and simon decided to put one tooth loser eh? he's, he's missing a tooth and i thought that was really funny Thank you, Simon, for joining me today. That was super fun. I hope you you come back. I'm, I'm really, really happy how, how this turned out. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more lessons step-by-step step like this one. See you next time. Bye.